68 the best score of the day and considering these conditions are you surprised at all that that was a number that was out there john well i'm surprised you know if someone would have told me this morning you're going to shoot 68 uh, i would have a big smile on my face and probably i wouldn't have gone out you know so yeah i'm surprised it's it's a hell of a course and you know you have to hit the right shot and you need to be lucky you know i made a a few uh, a few long putts and and i made a few good recoveries so you know in and out that was a very good day two of the last three years you've tried to qualify for this tournament and failed to qualify now you're presumably going to be the leader as scoring isn't going to get any better as we come in is that a little bit daunting to you well you know not really it's just you need to finish i mean you know top 20 in europe to be to be straight in the, uh, in in the open so Obviously, if you're not in there or if you don't make a very good start on the tour, you, you're not going to have one of the five spots which are available. So you, you need to go and, and qualify. There's a lot of great players who are trying to qualify. So, uh, so then it's, it's a little bit, you know, the luck of the draw because you're finishing a tournament like Loch Lomond on the Saturday. And then they ask you to play on the Sunday, sometime on the Sunday morning on the course that you have no idea how it's played and, and that you've never seen. So... Uh, so it's very hard, but you know this year I took it very easy. I so, well, you know it was a bit breezy as well, and and <laughs> the qualifying uh, just suited me. You know I'm I'm playing well at the moment, and I and I saw well, just go out there, enjoy it, and and see what happens. And you know I made it through, and here I am. Yes, you are. Our Steve Melnick, who won the British Amateur Championship here in 1971, wondered whether or not players might have thought that a 68 was possible in the practice rounds here. Did you think that scoring could possibly be this good? Well, you know, it's, 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 it's a major. I mean, it's a British Open. All the best players in the world are here. So you can expect uh, the guys like Tiger Woods or Norman or Davis Love, and forgive me for all the others, to, to shoot under power one day or the other, so, uh, or Colin or, or whoever. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's always possible. You know, you have a good day, and, and if it goes your way, it goes your way. You're going to make, the, as, I, as I say, the, the right putt at the right time. I made a, a couple of very good putts, and... Uh, and that was it. You know, I didn't make too many mistakes. I made one mistake on that par three with, uh, what was it, 13, playing downwind that left the ball short in the bunker. But except that, I, I played really good. All right. Well, apparently things were going your way. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the day. And we start on the 16th hole, and this is a long birdie putt. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it was, you know, down the hill, and but very much into the breeze. And I hit it pretty firm, and it hit the middle of the hole and went in. The hole, the hole got in the way there. And the closing stretch here is really one of the most difficult stretches in all of golf and this is the 18th hole your second shot yeah i had about uh whatever 149 to the front and i thought you know you gotta hit a pitching wedge and really hit it good and and the ball you know reacted absolutely perfect I was lucky it didn't go too far went to three and a half foot and and he find the hole and that for 68 which is the low round of the championship before uh, to this point i should say so now you are going to be, or at least presumably, as I said, going to be the leader, uh, or at least you are at this point. What will you do tonight? Well, I'm going to have dinner. You know, I'm French. <laughs> I, I enjoy good food, so I'm going to try to find a good place and have a great food and a great red wine. And then <laughs> try to wake up tomorrow morning and, and go through my routine and, 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 you know, prepare it and enjoy it as much as I can because I don't think you, uh, you know, it doesn't happen too often in a lifetime. Uh, leading leading major tournaments it might happen but even to the great player how many times is going to happen to them so uh, just a question of you know keeping the head on the shoulder don't try anything silly and, and go out there and enjoy it Jean Valdever uh, excuse me Jean Valdever thank you very much for stopping by two over par after the second round of the Open Championship